Satoshi lies, you decide. 12 strikes against Craig Wright being Bitcoin's creator, Satoshi Nakamoto, by COPA at the beginning of closing argu arguments today in COPA versus Wright. Let's break the whole thing down right now. This is Gavin Mayo coming at you. All right, so we're back at it today. We had Jonathan off up on the uh, up on the stand, you know, well, up on the basically against arguing in front of the uh, court today all day. And it was pretty much a uh, reading marathon over the over the uh, summary of the case and closing arguments and trying to convince the court that Dr. Wright could not and is not the creator of Bitcoin Satoshi Nakamoto. So there's 12 fundamental reasons that he broke down. I'm going to break those down right now. Number one was the white paper was produced in open office, not latex. The real Satoshi would have known that, according to Copa. Number two, a story about an exchange with Adam Back is false, based on emails showing Back wasn't dismissive of Bitcoin. Number three, Wright claimed to have discovered why days work earlier, but the real Satoshi found it back, found it via Adam Back. Number four, Wright's Satoshi PG key, key was posted before 2011 for signing and not generated by Wright. Number five, the code Wright lacks core knowledge like UNINT and check block held by Bitcoin's real creator would have known these things. Number six, the upload was free of the upload was a free Dubai hosting service and not from Australia as Wright claimed. Number seven, Patch Tuesday reference, references made no sense at all for Satoshi's timeline, according to Wright. Number eight, the real Satoshi knew mining mining cost wouldn't be $11,000 in electricity, as Wright, Wright stated. Number nine, no real evidence. The real, the real Satoshi sent Bitcoin to Zuko, the founder of Zcash, as Wright alleged. Nick Baum was an actual and early recipient. Number 10, the Genesis block had a public key and the real Satoshi wouldn't, the real Satoshi would recognize it, but Wright doesn't. Number 11, the real Satoshi used the term cryptocurrency, which Wright rejects. Number 12, real Satoshi would have rejected Gavin Andreessen using GitHub or involved WAD as Wright claimed. So, this is a point by point analysis by Copa going through closings. And one of the one of the key points as well to summarize that, that Jonathan Up really wanted to drive home was Wright's big all-star witness, which was Mr. Jenkins. We broke this down before in the past, where Jenkins came forward and testified about witnessing a document called the uh, Time Coin paper in early 2009. And that was up on the stand. And, and that According to Kurt Walker Jr.'s interview from last week, he said that would be enough to win the whole case. Now, they spent, they attacked this guy. I don't know, of course, he's not there, right? But in the court, they're attacking the witness on the stand. You know, uh, while he's on the stand in the closing brief to try to convince the court how Jenkins is not credible. Jenkins made it up on the spot. Jenkins was coached by Dr. Wright. He was probably text messaged him. He probably called him on the phone right before the thing and he wrote it down. He said, mention time coin, throw it in there. It was a, uh, they call it a, a last ditch effort to try to throw a, throw a rope out there at one last forgery and allegation. And so COPA made a really good case. They made a very strong day. And so ultimately today goes to, to COPA. If you're look, if I'm looking at it just to be completely neutral, there's no doubt about it. They're the only ones who talked all day. So it definitely goes to them. Right still up ahead by, uh, I think it's three since the last time we, we, we counted. We we're off almost 10 days now. So, Big day tomorrow is going to be BTC Core, and then we're going to be going to the closing stuff for right. So stay tuned. I got a major freaking big, huge announcement video that's going to be coming out this weekend. It's going to be an encore with Jack Pitts. So be sure to stay tuned for that. It's going to be a, it's a big one. Hint is called Dr. Mud. This weekend, Saturday, San Francisco, Bitcoin event is sold out. So, you know, if you're super, super motivated, you'll probably find a way to get there. Maybe, you know, Xiao Wei Lu. Uh, you know, there probably is still a way, but for the most part, it's sold out. It's going to be a huge hit. Bitcoin Association, CoinGeek is going to be live streaming it, and it's it's going to go down. It's going to be a, go down in history as a monumental feat. I'll see everyone there, and I'll see everyone else at the top. See you at the top of this video. This is Gavin. Hit the like button, subscribe, leave a comment. So, Craig Wright or Satoshi lies? Is that what's going on? 12 allegations from COPA that say that he's not Satoshi, the creator of Bitcoin, breaking it all down. I'll see you guys at the top tomorrow, later on.